Okay, welcome to the second video on the Star Trek Doors project. There's really kind of uh, two parts to this project. One is the actual physical doors themselves and the air cylinders and all the, the mechanical aspect of it. And then the other part of this is going to be the controls and how we actually open and close those doors. So what I've got here is uh, an Arduino, some automated air valves, a uh, computer for programming the Arduino. And I wanna show you what I'm thinking so far for how to do this project. Okay, to start with, let's talk about air valves. We've got a, a pretty straightforward valve here. This one's made by Wick Valve. Uh, essentially, the air comes into the valve here, and when you activate the valve with 12 volts, uh, the air can, can continue on to go out this way, and when you release the 12 volts, that air that's in there can escape out through here. In this case, we have a little uh, muffler here. Um, up here is where the 12 volts DC power goes in, and basically it's like a relay or a solenoid. When you give it 12 volts power, um, it completes the circuit, the electromagnet pulls, and it opens this valve. Pretty simple stuff, but uh, uh, fun to work with and neat stuff to learn about. Now let's take a look at the other valve. Uh, now this valve here, you could call this uh, like a, a double action one. Air comes in here, and normally it continues on out through here, but when you give it power, air goes out through here instead, and then when you release the power, the air is gonna exit through here. Now, in this case right now, I, I just need it to act as though it were a, a single action style valve, so I just have that plugged there. But what you can do with these is with an air cylinder, you could make that port go to the one end of the air cylinder and that port to the other. That way the air cylinder will always be either open or closed until you give it power and then it'll reverse direction. So that would be one way to use a single valve to both open and close the Star Trek door. But the big disadvantage of that is that there's no neutral, there's no off or decompressed uh, kind of a setup to it. So instead, here's what I'm thinking. I've got a uh, quick release connection that'll go to an air compressor hose and then the air gets split so it goes out to both valves. Essentially what I want to do is use this one to open the doors and this one to close the doors. So over here after this I also have another T so the, this can go to uh, both of the air cylinders and open them simultaneously. Likewise over here that goes out to a T each end of that goes to the ends of the air cylinder to close the air cylinder. So by giving power here, we open the door. Giving power here, we close the door. And by not having power on either, essentially the door is uh, non-pressurized and it can be manually opened or closed. Uh, for example, what if there is a power outage and the door is closed, you still want to be able to open it in case of emergency. So to start with, for the basic version of the doors, we want to have actual push buttons. And we're gonna keep the push buttons on the workshop side of the door. The main reason for that is there's a workbench and some shelves right next to the door. So a, uh, um, something like a motion sensor wouldn't work well in that place. You know, the door would open anytime uh, you pick something off the shelf or go by the workbench. So on that side, we're gonna use this nice industrial um, button set up here. Now these are just momentary on buttons though. So if you press the close button and that was hooked up to the valve that closed the door, you'd have to press and hold that to close the door. Same with the open. Uh, so instead we're going to use an Arduino to add a timer feature so that when you make the circuit it will uh, give power to the valve to close the door, keep power there for a moment, and then deactivate. That way we're turning kind of a momentary button onto a button that runs long enough to fully open or close the door. And of course, I just have it hooked up temporarily uh, with jumpers. Now down here, I have uh, a little relay board. It has four relays on it. So we're gonna use the first relay for the open valve, the second relay for the close valve, and that still leaves two other relays that could be used for like a uh, a red alert mode. Maybe there's a, a red strobe light above the door or something else. Now in this case I do have uh, some LEDs. I've got some LED kind of a strip light tape that I thought might be kind of cool going around the frame of the door because nothing says science fiction quite like LED tape. And then of course over here I've got an Arduino Uno. Um, I am not the master of the Arduino. I'm just learning the basics right now. All I did was I modified a button tutorial um, to output a signal 
uh, from the Arduino through the breadboard to those relays when I press a button. So then in the code on the Arduino, I told it if I press the open button, then turn on the open air valve and also turn on that LED strip light and leave them both on for a moment. That gives enough time for the uh, air cylinders to open the door fully. So let's see that. And we do have a little light um, on that valve if you look closely. So basically when that light goes on, the doors would go open and then stay open because there's, there's nothing to make them go either further open or close after that. Likewise with the close button, that's going to activate the relay for the close valve and it's also going to turn on the LED light and it's going to hold it there for a moment, just long enough for the door to close all the way. And I actually set it up so that the, uh, the light stays on for just a moment longer after the door is already closed. Now the stop button, um, that's just representing what we'll have on the garage side of the door. That's gonna be more of a fully automated thing. So you just press a single button, the door will open, you can walk through and then it'll close behind you. So when I press this, the open valve is gonna go it's going to stay open, uh, wait a moment, and then close the door. So let's see that. That one opens, waits, then closes, and the door is back closed again. So to uh, go from the garage into the workshop, you just press one button, and then you'll be able to uh, walk through and have it close behind you. Now, of course, we're still going to need a safety. So if anybody has a really good idea for how to add a safety to this, I was thinking something like a laser beam going across the door. And in the software, it's going to say something like, uh, if door is open and safety says it's OK, then close door, something like that. So really, the main thing that I'm doing here is just controlling uh, air valve relays with an Arduino. And I could actually just do that with physical buttons. It wouldn't be very complicated at all. But I figured uh, the thing to do it with an Arduino is that once all the physical connections are made, um, I can change everything else through software for the behavior of the door. So what I'm going to do is uh, get this all cleaned up, make the wires the right length, pin everything down to that board. Uh, so that basically I just have to wire everything up once and then if I want to change the behavior of the doors I can just do that through the Arduino software for example adding uh, a safety a motion sensor and all the other things that we're going to want to do in this project but uh, if you have some uh, good tips for how to use an Arduino how to add a safety ways to clean up code things like that please let me know otherwise I'll see you on the next Star Trek doors video